Hi Hope Kids and Jam friends! Today's Bible story comes from Joshua chapters 2 and 6. Be sure to check out the videos on, and materials on the church website for more. God promised the Israelites to give them the good land of Canaan. Have you ever wondered, what about the people already living in Canaan? Will the Israelites and Canaanites join in harmony and live together? Wouldn't that be too crowded? Well, God said he would destroy and take the land from the Canaanites and give to the Israelites. That doesn't sound fair. But you see, God had given the Canaanites many good things. But the Canaanites did not want to serve God. They enjoyed doing very bad things and they didn't want to stop. They were hurting each other and ruining their lives by worshiping false gods, false idols, instead of the one true God. So God promised to punish them. And while God doesn't enjoy punishing people, God is just. That means God always does what is right. And part of what is right is punishing sin. Because God is merciful and patient, he did not punish the Canaanites right away, but he waited for hundreds of years, giving them a chance to change. But they only got worse. They did wicked things. And as a punishment, God promised their land to his chosen people, the Israelites. One of the Can Canaanites was a woman named Rahab. She lived in um, the city of Jericho, which is one of the most important cities of Canaan. Rahab was well known in her city for the sinful ways that she lived. You see, Rahab was a sinner. She did many things that did not please God. One day, spies from the Israelites army came to Rahab's house. They came to look at the city the God, that God was going to give them. Rahab knew who the spies were and what they were doing, and she helped to hit them when the soldiers from the king of Jericho tried to catch them. She took them up to her roof and hid them so the king's men couldn't find them. Hold up, these spies are enemies of Rahab's people. Why do you think she saved their lives? It's because she knew it wasn't really the Israelites who were punishing the Canaanites and taking away their land. It was the Lord God. The Canaanite people served many false gods, but Rahab saw that the Israelites served the one true God and who our God who was real and the and king of everything and everyone. God loved Rahab and helped her to learn more about God and who he was. She knew that God was going to destroy Jericho and give the land of Canaan to the Israelites. So Rahab showed kindness to these spies and hoped that they would show kindness back to her. She asked the spies to make a vow which is a very serious promise that her family will be safe when, the, when God punished the city. She also showed them how to escape from the city. Rahab's house was built right into the walls of the city. Using a rope, she helped the spies climb up out of her window and down to the ground. The spies had agreed to show kindness to Rahab because of what she did for them. They told her to take a scarlet cord or like a red rope and hang it in her window. They promised that anyone who was inside Rahab's house would be safe when the Israelites' army came to destroy the Canaanites. God mercifully provided a way for Rahab to escape. Being merciful means not giving someone the punishment they deserve. Remember, Rahab was a sinner living in simple ways, but God showed his mercy on Rahab and didn't punish her. Instead, he made a way to save her because Rahab believed on God. Soon, the Canaanites heard that the Israelites were on their way to take the land God had promised to give them. The Canaanites shut the gates of Jericho and waited for the Israelites to attack. But the Israelites army didn't attack. They just blew trumpets and marched around the outside walls of the city. That's a strange way to fight a battle. But God had given Joshua, the next leader of the Israelites after Moses, special instructions um, for attacking Jericho. God wanted everyone to know that it wasn't the Israelites who were punishing the Canaanites and taking their land, but it was actually God himself punishing Canaanites. You know, it wasn't by the Israelites' power and strength, but it was God who was giving them the power and the strength to defeat the Canaanites. The next day, the Israelites' army came back and they blew trumpets, marched around the city again. In fact, they did the same thing for six days in a row. And on the seventh day, um, they marched around the city seven times. 
And after that seventh time, the Israelites' army began to shout as the trumpets blew. They were shouting really loudly. And guess what happened? Suddenly, the enormous walls of Jericho came crumbling to the ground. How did that happen? You know, our voices, no matter how loud we shout, cannot break down strong walls. But the walls of Jericho fell because God said that they would. God is faithful to keep his promises. The Bible says the walls fell down and the city was burned with fire, except for one small part. Do you know what that part was? It was Rahab's house. Even though her house was actually part of the city wall, it stayed up when the rest of the wall fell. The scarlet cord was still hanging in her window and her family was saved. God mercifully protected Rahab and all those who had chosen to accept the way of escape God provided. God continued to do amazing things. God chose Rahab for something very special. Rahab ended up marrying an Israelite and they had a family. And hundreds of years later, a very special baby came from this family. Do you know who that was? It was Jesus. God used Rahab as part of his promise to send the Savior who would save the world from the sin. When you trust in God and follow his ways, God promises to, do, uh, to give good things. Even when you sin, if you ask God for forgiveness and learn from your mistakes, God shows mercy. God is good all the time. 